Yeah, How are you doing? Tell us, first of all, um, congratulations, by the way, a second contract with the Pittsburgh Steelers, the team that drafted you. What does that mean? And kind of take fans through the free agency process. Yeah, it means everything to me um, and, and my family. You know, obviously our, our organization that has, you know, always the belief, ha, had all the belief behind me since day one, you know, um, the most confidence in, confidence in me. Um, and just, you know, all the work that, you know, leading up to that moment, just to bring me to or such a prestigious organization, um, it means everything, you know, and then just in free, free agency, obviously it was a time, you know, kind of just to get away and, uh, you know, just get away, get around family, continue to craft, continue to work. And, uh, you know, just, yeah, just live, you know, <laughs> you know, just, we just hanging, man. We just hanging on this way, taking one day at a time and, um, you know, Everything, everything is just, just falling in line for us. So just really enjoying that. Cam, we were just talking a little bit ago just about how free agency, there's good and there's bad that comes with it. Uh, just the loss of different teammates to different teams or for various reasons and knowing that the defense you played with last season is going to be different this year. Yeah, you know, obviously um, nothing but love and um, over overexcited for those guys, you know, leaving a free, free agency just – um, everything that we we built, you know, in Pittsburgh, you know, they they want to take that wherever they go, respectively, and, and and look to continue to build off of that. And that's just that's just the brand. That's just the character of the guys, you know, that we all know. You know, we know those guys who left free agency. Um, just the character the character of those guys, um, you know, how they how they approach the game, uh, how they approach business, and uh, just the type of people they are. You know, um, you know, class A. You know. Class A people all around, all across the board, you know, within the organization, obviously the players, and uh, that that makes it all enjoyable and, and just brings all the excitement out every time you go to work and and, and um, you know just stepping out on the field with those guys. All right, Cam. A lot of questions. People want to know where you are right now and what you're doing in terms of your off season. Yeah. So um, off season, if we're down in Tampa um, in our off season. Um, it's, it's just our getaway outside of Pittsburgh. Um, you know, it's a great workplace for us, um, and it's, it's close, it's just close as far as us just moving around, you know, and just all season, just time for us to craft um, and just get better, you know, each and every day we're grinding, we're working, we got a lot of guys, obviously, you know, Deontay's down this way, Ray Ray's down this way, uh, Dion was with us when he was, you know, down this way, so uh, a lot of familiar faces working with those guys, and then obviously it's just a hot area for, you know, a lot of good ball, you know, so just learning a lot of knowledge, you know, getting around a lot of good guys, and uh, just competing, you know, just having that competitive edge to yourself, uh, just to sharpen your sword each and every time you go out there to work, you know, just that mindset and that mentality, um, you know, and just the work, you know what I mean? You know, obviously everyone talks about work, but, you know, <laughs> it, yeah, everyone talks about work, but you either you're working or you're not, you know, simple as that. So, um, and it'll show when it's time. So uh, just over over excited about that. Um, and just just ready to show the organization, ready to show the world, you know, um, you know, 2021 to Pittsburgh, here we come. So that's it. All right. Lots of fan questions coming your way. Uh, some people from Germany are watching this. So that's pretty awesome. cool. Um, someone wanted to know, what is your favorite pregame meal? I'm not a big pregame eating guy, um, to be honest. That kind of depends, you know, obviously throughout the schedule of games, you know, you might have an early game, a night game. So that kind of varies the meal, uh, but I'm very I'm a very light person, a very light eater before a game. So I don't like too much, too heavy. Um, so like a light breakfast, you know, eggs, bacon, toast, you know, um, that's always good. Grits, you know, shrimp, you know, one of my uh, shrimp and grits is kind of like a maybe a pregame, a, a small portion of that. But outside of that, you know, some type of pasta, some type of chicken breast, you know, some type of some type of carb or something like that, um, leading up before games. That's that's, that's it for me. All right, our next question is from Hector. Who is your biggest inspiration? Oh man, life. <laughs> and, you know the blessings that the blessings that it bring. Um, but um, you get closer to that, just my woman. You know, my lady Courtney. Um, you know, just the drive that, um, the push that she and support that she has behind me. You know, um, you know everything. Not saying just everything that we've been through, just. Um, just that consistency and just that, that build, you know, having a foundation, um, being able to, you know, come home and uh, like I said, have that solid foundation and, and no worry, you know, no stress, no, you know, no nothing. 
And um, you know, that's all you can ask for. And that makes my job easier when I step out um, each and every day and handle business. And, uh, and I can come home to that. All right. What age did you start playing football? This is from Frank. Uh, I started playing sports and football alone uh, when I was four. Uh, yeah, and that's that's competitively, you know, that's not like flag and all that. I was, yeah, I, I started when I was four, you know, and it's been a, I guess you could say, full time job ever since. You know, um, football, basketball, baseball was a year round thing for me um, since since the time I could pick up a ball and start moving around. And um, I just instantly fell fell in love with the game, fell in love and appreciate everything that I learned from it. And uh, obviously, that's 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 the biggest thing. Obviously, the game you learn so much and. and and um, you go through go through so many ups and downs and things through through the game itself, but the life lessons and and the people that you meet and things outside of the game itself, um, that's what builds you as a man. That, that's what builds you as a person and your character. And I've always prided myself off of that and just you know just upkeeping and you know just holding your own and you know staying down, staying loyal. And um, you know people respect that obviously, and that's that's not you know a facade. That's just not something to, to try to create. That's just who you are. That's just what you stand on. So. Um, and people gravitate, gravitate to that on their own. All right, time for just a few more fan questions, Cam. I know you're pretty busy. Um, your favorite NBA team, non football related? <laughs> Gotta go with the home team. You know, uh, I just stay with the home team. Uh, yeah, obviously, you grow up. Uh, not in that, yeah, just the home team. I just stay with the home team. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta rep. Okay, what about your favorite movie? Favorite movie, Little Giants. Classic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. And our last question for you, what is the biggest challenge you had to overcome in your football career? Um, I wouldn't say a challenge because um, not necessarily nothing's a challenge. It's always, it's always about the obstacle and, and what you make of it. Um, but I guess you could say in that aspect, when my senior year of college, uh, when I broke my fibula, when I fractured my fibula, obviously it wasn't necessarily a down moment for me. Um, the most the downs is not being out there and not being able to go to war with my teammates each and every day. And uh, – you know that's that was that was the big down for me in that aspect. But just being able to come come into the building each and every day, still travel with the team, still be in meetings, you know, I'm still on the sideline for the games. I still wore my helmet on the sideline for games. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I just I dressed out. I I, I ran out. Um, I crushed out through the tee. You know, I did I did everything I could to obviously still instill my presence and my feeling um, just in the building. You know, just my love. Obviously, for my guys, you know, that I was playing with and, and my coaches. And, and, again, just another prestigious um, university organization. And, um, you know, just, just wanting to come in and just, you know, leave my leave my mark, you know. So, um, it's just, like I say, it's back back on all your approach, you know, how you approach everything and just how you conduct business and, 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 go, and go after everything, go after everything that you want, um, obviously, in your, in your business and in your field and then just in life in general. So. All right, Cam. Well, it's always great to ca uh, catch up with you. Excuse me. Keep sending the nice weather from Florida up here to Pittsburgh. We're enjoying the six and seven days this week. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for joining us here on IG Live.